Hey everybody, I'm the Ranting Monkey, and today we're going to see what a victim narrative looks like. By now, you've likely seen Kathy Newman's interview of Jordan Peterson on Channel 4 News. In case you missed it, Miss Newman, who seems to want to be a journalist, spends the entire interview strawmanning Peterson and mischaracterizing his statements, like this. But if you leave men and women to make their own choices, you will not get equal outcome. Right, so you're saying that anyone who believes in equality, whether you call them feminists, call them whatever you want to call them, should basically give up because it ain't going to happen. Only if they're aiming at equality of outcome. So you're saying give people equality of, of opportunity, that's fine. It's not only fine, it's eminently desirable for everyone, for individuals and for society. But still women aren't going to make it. That's just one tiny example. He says he thinks equal opportunity is good, and she changes that to, we shouldn't even try for equality. Because in the mind of a radical lefty feminist, there can be no equality unless it means a female cashier at the local grocery store is making the same amount of money as Bill Gates. The sheer incompetence displayed by Kathy Newman throughout this interview is mind-numbing. It's nearly 30 minutes of her not listening to a goddamn thing Peterson says. She repeatedly says, so you're saying, and then follows it with shit he never said. Now, Peterson's a smart guy who picks his words carefully. He also has the presence of mind not to let someone like Newman get away with the shit she tried pulling here. He made her look like a complete fucking joke. And honestly, I'm surprised the folks running Channel 4 News put this interview out there. It not only makes her look bad, it makes them look bad for employing such a vapid moron. As bad as this dumpster fire of an interview was, I find the response to be even worse. Rather than admit their employee made a complete ass of herself and their organization, Channel 4 whipped out the victim card. Channel 4 calls in security for Kathy Newman following vile online abuse. Channel 4 News has called in security experts after presenter Kathy Newman was bombarded with vicious misogynistic abuse online. The newsreader received a torrent of abuse following a lively interview with a psychology professor about the gender politics. Newman debated freedom of speech and trans issues with Jordan B. Peterson, a Canadian scholar known for opposing transphobia laws in his home country. A clip showing Newman stumped by Peterson's argument on the right to be allowed to offend people went viral after the 30-minute interview aired earlier this week. Foul-mouthed Twitter trolls started calling Newman a fucking idiot and commented on her appearance. Calling her a fucking idiot or talking about the ramen thing she has going on with her hair is certainly not nice, but they aren't threats of violence. Why the hell would you need security? We're literally at a point where people are hiring guards against mean words. Responding to the abuse, Ben DePere, the editor of Channel 4 News, revealed security measures for Newman had to be taken. Writing on Twitter, he said it was a terrible indictment of the times we live in. He wrote, our Channel 4 News on-screen journalists expect to be held to account for their journalism, but the level of vicious misogynistic abuse, nastiness, and threat to Kathy Newman is an unacceptable response to a robust and engaging debate with Jordan B. Peterson. Such is the scale of threats we at Channel 4 News are having to get security specialists in to carry out an analysis. I will not hesitate to get the police involved if necessary. It's not unusual for people to get threats online. Not only have I been told to kill myself and read some pretty vividly horrific descriptions of things people want to happen to me, I've had people threaten me directly. One moron said he was going to gut me like a fish. Not very original, but what can you really expect from some dickless rando online? That said, I'm having a little bit of trouble believing she's getting a bunch of threats when the examples used are that somebody called her a fucking idiot and people are commenting on how she looks. I'm not saying they don't exist, but it makes the narrative stronger if they shared those supposed threats. None of the articles I've read are focusing on why people might be giving her shit. There's barely a mention of how awful the interview was, and how she tried to paint Peterson as some sexist and transphobe by taking things he said entirely out of context, literally misquoting things he had just said moments before these probing moronic questions. If it is mentioned, it's done as though it's something Peterson's followers have pulled out of thin air. I don't think anybody should be making threats against her, but saying she's a fucking idiot isn't unreasonable. Judging by that interview, it's a fact. Some of the stories aren't as bad as others. This headline from the Times calls it trolling. But article after article about poor Kathy is having the desired effect. Rather than focus on the other shit show that the interview was, people are coming out against the horrible abuse our dear Kathy is suffering through. Even Theron Meyer has gotten in on the act. Your followers can be a little crazy sometimes, and deflecting is not helping the problem. It's time to have a sit down with your boys because they're getting more and more unsorted. What is this deflection she speaks of? Well, she was replying to Peterson's tweet about one of these fucking articles. He starts off quoting a line from the article. In addition to reported threats, Peterson's followers suggest that Newman was putting words in his mouth. Peterson adds, My followers, 
not just people who watched the video and made up their own minds. In Theron's head, this is Peterson deflecting. Peterson needs to talk with his boys. Funny thing, you might notice there's a link in Peterson's tweet there. If you follow it, you'll end up at this article from the City News. If you go even further and read the fucking thing, you'll notice like every other article, none of these supposed threats are shared. But it does include this. After DePere announced that Newman had been the target of abuse, Peterson took to Twitter to tell his 300,000 followers not to threaten Newman. If you're threatening her, stop. Try to be civilized in your criticism. It was words. Words, people. Words. Remember those? He wrote. Sure, Theron. He needs to talk to his boys because you can't read. Deflecting my ass. Anyway, my favorite article on this comes from The Independent. Misogynistic abuse against Kathy Newman is a symbol of the backlash against the Me Too movement. That's right. People accurately pointing out how horrible Kathy was to Peterson in that interview is really just men upset that we can't rape women anymore. We're only going to catch some highlights, but this article, as well as the others mentioned in this video, will be linked below if you want to read them. When men feel they're losing power, any level of nastiness is possible, and much power has been ceded recently. Amid the steamrolling effect of the Me Too campaign, of the sudden dominance of gender equality in the news, and the fall of many great men, here comes the whirling center of the storm, when we have to fight even harder than ever to be heard. We are in backlash season. Yeah, that's it. I think Kathy was being a stupid cunt because a bunch of male feminists are getting called out for forcing their dicks on women who often willingly took those dicks hoping for fame. I'm all broken up about it and just need to lash out. So for January 2018, Kathy Newman will be our fall woman. She's taken the baton from the likes of Laura Kunzenberg, the BBC reporter who hired bodyguards, the historian Mary Beard who questioned the whitewashing of history, Labour MP Diane Abbott, who has the sheer audacity of being a black woman in public office, and Brexit campaigner Gina Miller, who dared reinforce our democracy. We're not going to go through all of these, but let's take a look at Laura. She's a British reporter who got lots of shit for her biased reporting. People even started a petition to get her fired. Was it unwarranted? Well, not according to the BBC. In fact, the BBC Trust said her reporting breached British broadcasting impartiality and accuracy guidelines. You can read about the shit she pulled in the article link below, but she's not some victim who was targeted because of the genitals she has, and since this happened way back at the end of 2015, it sure as fuck didn't have anything to do with Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, or Aziz Ansari. She fucked up and got called out for her behavior. For those angry at the recent resurgence of feminism, they've had to wait for their moment. It's not easy to defend a serial rapist, or even a one-off rapist, although some people do. Let's not forget that 63 million people recently voted for an alleged defender as president. It's not easy to defend a sexual harasser either, even though more people do that. But it is very easy to attack Kathy Newman, the female journalist whose male editor thought it would be a good idea to interview Jordan Peterson. That's a whole lot of stupid for one paragraph with only two sentences in it. You see, we men love the rape. If it weren't for societal norms, we'd spend our days just raping. We'd rape men, women, dogs, trees, anything we could fit our filthy dicks in. But because of feminism, we have to hide how much we like the rape. The only way we can express just how much we like forcing our cocks into people is to vote for Donald Trump and make fun of Kathy. The scary part is I have no doubt that's what this idiot actually believes. But that last sentence, where did the feminism go? Why wouldn't it be a good idea for a strong, independent woman to interview Peterson even if her male editor had set it up? Seriously, what's the problem there? She's not getting shit because she has a twat, she's getting shit because she was horrifically incompetent in the interview. It's not because she spoke to a man. It's not because the male editor set it up. It's not because men are upset that we can't support rape. It's because she made a complete ass of herself. That's it. That's as deep as it goes. She's being called a fucking idiot because that's the image she put out there. The end of this moronic article is actually my favorite part. Got you, Peterson said when Newman fell silent for a few seconds. Peterson laughed. The joke was on her, in a way. No matter what she would have asked, a woman daring to question his expertise was bound to have ramifications especially in 2018. Oh, for fuck's sake, here's that exchange. You cited freedom of speech in that. Why should your right to freedom of speech trump a trans person's right not to be offended? Because in order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. Why should you have the right to do that? It's been rather uncomfortable. Well, I'm, I'm very glad I put you on the spot. <laughs> well, I'm you very get my, glad that but, I have no, exercised you get my, my point. Speech. You get my point. It's like you're, you're doing what you should do, which is digging a bit to see what the hell's going on. So and that you, is what you should do. But you're you exercising to... your freedom of speech to certainly risk offending me. And that's fine. I think you, more power to you as far as I'm concerned. So you haven't sat there and... 
I'm just trying. I'm just trying to work that out. I mean. Ha, gotcha. You have got me. You have got me. I'm trying to work that through time. my head. Yeah, yeah. It took a while. It took a while. It did. It did. Yeah. It took a while. If a man had sat across from Peterson, even in 2018, and said word for word what Raman had here said, they would be getting just as much shit. This has nothing to do with her being a woman. It has nothing to do with Peterson's fans being a rabid attack mob. A really stupid person interviewed Peterson, repeatedly set up straw mans, repeatedly put words in his mouth, and repeatedly made themselves look like a complete jackass. There are millions of smart women out there. Some of them are even journalists. Kathy isn't a moron because of her vagina. It's utter bullshit to try and frame this as a sexist issue. No one should be threatening Kathy over this, but she has earned every bit of criticism for the way she conducted herself here. She and her employer should be embarrassed by this interview. Alright guys, that is going to wrap up this one. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and share it. With the recent changes to YouTube, sharing helps more than you might think. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can support this channel through the Patreon link below or by making a purchase from the Monkey Store. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Ranting Monkey, and I'll see you next time. You cited freedom of speech in that. Why should your right to freedom of speech trump a trans person's right not to be offended? Your life makes me sad. Mm -hmm.